Welcome, this is the AP Physics Workbook Solution. Here we have Unit 2, Dynamics. The section is 2.G, Acceleration in Two Dimensions. The scenario, a 300 kilogram box rests on a platform attached to a forklift shown. Starting from rest at a time t equals to zero seconds, the box is lowered with a downward acceleration of 1.5 meters per second squared. Part A asks us to use some representation is to draw a free body diagram labeling all the forces. For this situation, we know there are four forces acting on this object, but we are only right now going to be looking at the vertical. There should be a force gravity going down and a force normal going up. They are the same lengths, uh, but that is incorrect because the question says that it the bottom is accelerating at 1.5 meters per second. This would be a better picture because here you see that the force gravity is bigger or longer in magnitude than the force normal. Now we can do part B by explaining this. Support the magnitude the normal box in comparison to the gravitational force on the box. I wrote the scenario states that the box is lowered with a downward acceleration. For that to happen, the net force has to be downwards. There are two forces in the vertical direction, force normal and force gravity. I wrote the Newton second law for the scenario. And when I saw it, I saw that F force of gravity is greater than force normal. The force downwards has to be greater than the force upwards to create a net force downwards. That is my explanation for the picture. If you would like a further detailed explanation on this, I would like to give you this problem to work on. You could pause the video and, and try it. This gives you the solution. This shows you what the net force is on this box. They're comparing when someone is pulling the box upwards. Notice it is the force pulling minus mg because the normal force here is going to be zero. They saw that it is two newtons positive. That's why it's going up. P plugging it back into Newton's second law, they can solve for the acceleration that way. So in this case, the box accelerate upwards because force pull is greater than mg, which is force of gravity. That should give you better insight here to this problem. Let's do C. Blake derives an equation for the height of the box as a function of time. Making a mistake and coming up with y equals 9.8 t. Without deriving the correct equation, how can you tell that this equation is not possible? In other words, why does it not make physical sense? Here's the solution. y equals 9.8 t reminds me of distance is equal to rate times time. In this case, the rate would be velocity. So Blake is saying that the height is equal to 9.8 multiply the time. Blake is treating the 9.8 as a velocity, which he is wrong about. The height is equal to the velocity multiplied by the time, not the acceleration multiplied by the time. The 9.8 here is the acceleration. There is an acceleration in the system, which means that there is a different point in time in the system. Therefore, there are different values of velocity in the situation. Therefore, you can't not use this. This would be an incorrect equation for something moving up and changing its velocity because there is an acceleration in the system. This is why this equation wouldn't make sense. Part D. At t equals to zero seconds, the forklift also begins to move forward with an acceleration of two meters per second while lowering the box as described above. The box is not slipped or tipped over while the forklift is accelerating downwards. The dot at the right represents the box. You are going to draw the free body diagram, making sure all the lengths are correct. Pause the video if you would like to give that a try. I just first drew the same vertical components as the previous question the only thing new part here is that it begins to accelerate two minutes per second forward i drew the f forward here by representing it going to the right direction with its vector this represents the two minutes per second going forward now we can do part e Explain in a brief sentence why the frictional force points in the direction you sketch in part D. Part D will also require us 
to draw where the force of friction is. Here I added the force friction, but I drew the arrow a little bit smaller than the force forward because the problem says it starts to accelerate two meters per second forward. So the net force to the right has to be bigger for it to move. That is the reason why the length for F forward is longer than F of small f, which stands for the friction force. Please understand that the frictional force here is opposite to the direction of the forward force. Now we can answer our explanation question in part E. I stated that the scenario states that the forklift also begins to move forward. The frictional force is a result of the forward motion in the opposite direction due to Newton's third law of motion. Now we can do our last part. We are going to, when the box is only beginning to accelerate forward, a max has one value. A max is the maximum acceleration the forklift can have before the box begins to slide. When the box is both accelerating forward and down, a max is less. Explain in a paragraph why that is. This is a typical par paragraph response question that can appear on the AP physics test. When you answer a paragraph response question, you can include an equation or diagram, but make sure that you have words explaining it. If you just have equations, they're not going to give you points. So this is what I wrote. The frictional force depends on the normal force. I write it F. Uh, friction is equal to mu, which is the static friction times the normal force. Here I showed that in the vertical distance, the acceleration, the Y, is equal to force normal minus force gravity. I kind of showed that above in the part A and B as well. For the acceleration to be downwards, we know that Fg has to be greater than Fn. Now, this is the core answer for this. Th these three are just the warrants that set up this claim. I would say that when the box is accelerating downwards, the normal force is less. That is my claim, my warrant. When the normal force decreases, the force of friction decreases and hence a smaller maximum acceleration the forklift can supply without causing the box to slip. If you would like to see how that mathematically works, so I said here when the normal force decreases, the force of friction decreases. So watch here. So this is gonna go super small. So this goes small. So this has to be true. So this has to go small. Small times anything. This is then force of friction has to go small. This is the reason why the A max here is less. It's because the force normal is going to be smaller. Okay, here you go. You can take your notes on this to help you along, but there you go. Those are all your solutions for 2G.